Hey guys, Jesse here. So the other day, uh, I had to build a little media site for one of my clients. Um, and the feature he really liked was a feature that you can find on a site called qz.com or Quartz. Now, they've got this feature where as you kind of browse, it automatically loads the next post. So you can see here, look, already on the next post, updated the URL real time, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, boom. New post, uh, updated the URL, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and boom, new post keeps the, and kind of so on, so on, right? And we'll just kind of keep going back through the last post, last post, last post. Now, uh, I managed to do that on uh, my site. So if I, uh, this is one of my test sites, uh, ignore the content and ignore the layout and ignore the obnoxious name. But anyway, here you go. So you can see here, add, add, header, content. All right, let's scroll. So I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And you see, as I get to the end, it's gonna say, boom. Uh, you can see the URL change and a new header. And I keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Exactly the same, and this will do it for all the posts on the site. Pretty cool, hey? So, uh, what are the benefits of this? Well, a couple. One, it's gonna increase your page views, obviously, um, but how does that actually help your users? Because I think that's something that uh, needs to be considered. So what it basically does is it'll allow you to, I don't know, make it, make it easier for your users to go through your posts. So if they're already enjoying your content and they wanna keep reading, they don't have to click next, they don't have to make any decisions and kind of like keep going through your feed. Um, kind of like a Facebook feed, right? It just keeps going through the blog after blog after blog. They can go faster, slower, depending on how fast they scroll. Um, it also means more page views. If you've got ads on the site, it'll mean more ads. Um, and more ad impressions generally means uh, more money if you're with a network that does CPM style uh, traffic. Now, yeah, so that's basically it. So how do we do it? So the first step is you want to download a plugin called Auto Load Next Post. Uh, I'll quickly show you what that one looks like because it was a little bit confusing when I was looking for it. So Auto Load Next Post. You can see here, auto load next post, and I've installed it. It's the one with the Star Wars uh, icon that uh, is made by Sebastian Dumont. Uh, and it's regularly updated. Last update was three months ago, and I think they've got a premium version, but you don't really need that for this. Uh, anyway, so let's dive into it. So let's go to installed plugins. I'm going to go to the settings. I think you can also find it in settings. There you go. All right. So the way this plugin works is it detects certain parts of your site, so the uh, the content container, the title, the navigation, and the comments. And then based on that, it'll basically pull uh, the database and automatically like load the next post straight after it. Um, this is a little bit confusing and it took a little bit of customization for me to set up. Um, so I'm gonna show you how you can set it up. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to one of your blog posts and you want to, let me uh, go to the homepage. I'm gonna click this one, cool. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a look at where is my content? And so for here, I've said, hey, in the div that has the ID, that's what the hash is, and ID content, that is my content container. So for me, I think it's this part here. So if I go here, let's have a look. You can see here, div ID content. And so I'm saying, hey, anything in this content container is the actual post. Um, now the header, I'm gonna say, hey, where's the header? And for me, it's in the H1. So I've got an H1 tag uh, with a class, which is the dot entry title. And so if I have a look up here, that is, whoa, inspect element. Cool, H1 class, entry title. Uh, and that entry title is unique to the title. Um, the next part is the post navigation container. Now this is really important. This is actually how it finds the link to the next post. So it's actually hidden on this site but what it, what it is, is at the end of your post, you're gonna see a section which is gonna say, uh, is gonna say something like, hey, uh, last post was this, and then the title, and it will have a link to the last blog post. Or it'll say, which one do you wanna click? This one next or this one uh, prior? Or something like that. Whatever's leading people to go to the next page. Um, right click that, have a look for the nav, because it should be in a nav tag and see if there's a unique ID or a div associated to that. Then auto load next post, we'll find that. It'll uh, basically grab one of those links and load that post after, super simple. Um, actually, it was, wasn't that simple, it was hard for me. And then um, after you got the comments container, I don't have comments, I've disabled them. 
Um, and that's basically it. The last option you want to do is tick update Google Analytics. So each time a page is loaded, it's going to count as a page view, which is awesome. Uh, and then hit save. And after you've saved, it's all pretty good and it all kind of works. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's how you get a kind of QZ uh, infinite scroll type feature. Um, so you can see here, look, scroll, boom, new URL, new thing. If I had ads here to show some new ads, awesome. So yeah, guys, uh, enjoy. If you've got any questions, I know some of you guys will have questions. Ask them in the comments below and I'm happy to help anyone out that needs it. All right, thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.